the end of XYZ.com. Only on 7 tonight, the victim of a violent attack at the Motor City Pride event where a man says he was beaten just for being gay. Yeah, he thought he'd be safe there. After all, this was a celebration of gay pride he was going to, but cell phone video documented an attack that started with words and escalated into violence. 7 Action News reporter Jeff Vaughn is live at Hart Plaza tonight, and it must have been terrifying for him. Jeff? Yeah, Carolyn, that man is so terrified, he tells me he will not come back to that event. Motor City Pride happened here at Hart Plaza over the weekend, and for the first time in its 43-year history, it's now had some violence. Take a look at the video. This beatdown of a gay man caught on tape at Detroit's Motor City Pride, a gay and lesbian-friendly event held over the weekend. This video taken by a bystander shows 20-year-old Kristen Howard, a gay man fighting off attackers Sunday along Detroit's Riverwalk as the Gay Pride Festival happened in nearby Hart Plaza. First, he was verbally abused. With your hair and this and that and this and that, just gay bashing me, basically. Then, a physical attack. I just thought I was going to die. At one point, I thought they was going to kill me. This is the result. A bruised and bloody eye, abrasions, and a broken finger. Kristen Howard explains to Action News what happened as five to eight men attacked him. The video showing this man hitting Christian and this man kicking him. At one point, all the young men joining in on the assault. As Kristen lie on the ground surrendering an attack lasting one minute. They was just kicking me, kicking me, punching me, punching me. Kristen says the attack was unprovoked. And as he was getting a picture taken with a friend, the young men started circling, commenting on his long hair, calling him homophobic slurs, and threatening with violence. And then somebody said they had a gun. No gun was seen, but the damage was done. Kristen, a stylist, can no longer cut hair until his hand heals. And he's emotionally damaged, saying he hasn't slept since the Sunday attack. He's strong in his gay pride, but doesn't know if he'll return to the Gay Pride Festival. I'm kind of iffy about it now. Because I don't want that same incident to happen again. What if the same guy's down there? Well, Howard tells me that he has filed a complaint with police. DPD will investigate this as a hate crime, and no one has been arrested yet. Live in Detroit, Jeff Vaughn, 7 Action News. All right, thank you much, Jeff. Now, investigators are looking at this video carefully, trying to track down those involved in this beating. We are posting this video on WXYZ.com. If you recognize anyone involved, in the attack, please call police right away. Stephen.